So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P2A03 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Nissan P2A03 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit range performance bank two sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which then uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And when you get a P2A03 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this, mainly with the sensor one upstream oxygen sensor. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. And when you get a P2A03 code, the computer's seeing an issue with bank two side of the engine with the sensor one oxygen sensor, which is going to be located before the catalytic converter. It can be a good idea to get a diagram for your specific Nissan, where all the sensors are located. It just can make things easier. For example, this is a 2011 Nissan Frontier. And one thing about this code is that it's very common to also get a P2A00 code. Not all the time, but it is common that you do get one. And basically, if you are getting a P2A00 code, that's going to point to bank one side of the engine O2 sensor having an issue. But when you get either one of these codes, the computer's seeing a problem with these sensors. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And another thing with these codes, either a P2A03 code or a P2A00 code, is that many Nissans, especially Nissans from like 2001 to like 2015, they have what's called an air fuel ratio relearn procedure. So even if you go through and you solve the problem, you have to go through this relearn procedure for the code to completely clear. If you have a good bi-directional scan tool, quite often they have this option built in where you just have to go in and tell the computer to relearn. If your scan tool doesn't have this option, there is another method to go about clearing this code, which I'll go over down below. But keep in mind that many Nissans do have this relearn procedure, even if you solve the problem. And so what are some possible causes of a P2A03 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that sensor just failed. It just needs to be replaced. You can not test it if you want to. There's some different ways to go about testing it. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. So the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue inside the wiring going to the sensor, like an open short. There's some kind of bad connection going on or something like this. Basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring going to the sensor is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the engine, like a vacuum leak or a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor or a bad mass airflow sensor or something like that. But usually if that happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. So if you don't have a bi-directional scan tool that can do the air fuel mixture ratio relearn procedure, then there is some steps that you could do with any scan tool. And so basically to do this, what you do is you warm up the engine until it's operating temperature. So let the engine run for like five, 10 minutes at least. Then you shut the engine off. You go locate the mass airflow sensor on your particular engine. It'll be up around the engine compartment somewhere, usually around the intake air box. And what you do is you unplug it. And with it unplugged, you restart the engine and you let the engine run for three to five seconds or so. And then you shut the engine off. You should get an engine light. And if you check your code, you should get a P0102 code, which is for the MAF sensor. You go ahead and clear these codes. And then when you start the engine back up, it's going to do the whole relearn procedure and all the code should clear. This works on many Nissans. If this doesn't work, you might have to do a little research since there is possible that there's variations on these steps and how you go about doing it. But this is a very common procedure to use when you don't have a bi-directional scan tool and the computer needs to do this relearn procedure. If you do these steps and it works for you, let us know down below. If they don't work, let us know what type of Nissan you got and let us know down below also. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P2A00 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.